Hello truckers and welcome back to Alaskan Road Truckers where I've been having some trouble recording this episode because there are a lot of weird things going on. So there's been an update to the game and I don't know if it's screwed up my save game or not but some weird things have been going on. So I've been down to the store. Uh, we bought the heater blanket. Uh, I didn't have tire chains on the truck. Those were gone. So I bought a set. When I came back out of the store the tire chains were back on. Um, this is like the fourth time I had to reload the game. One time I reloaded the game, the snow was gone. Uh, the truck, did, did I sell the original truck that we had? Because the truck is not here. I've been inside the headquarters to see, you know, if I go to sell, maybe it's just disappeared. Um, uh, but the only truck it shows I could sell is this one. So the original truck I had appears to be gone. I don't remember selling it, but maybe I have. Um, I'm out of food completely. And also, my reputation is down to a four star, which I thought we were at four and a half. So, I'm not sure about that. But anyways, we're going to try to take a load today, I guess. Um, as for the next thing I want to unlock here mechanically, I think we're going to go ahead and get the tire workshop. We unlocked this last time as a diagnostic module. I didn't really see what that changed inside the workshop, so we're going to try to work on that. But anyways, uh, the truck is running. Um, do I need to... Oh, I hate to get up on the hood because this bugged out my game on one of the times I tried uh, recording this episode. So let's see. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, windshield does not need repair. If I exit on out, am I going to get... Am I going to get stuck somewhere? All right, I'm not stuck. Uh, we're we're kind of free. So we got tire chains, uh, but I don't have any food. My energy level is is uh, up near the top. Food is not too bad. So what I need to do is let's get a, get ourselves a job going here. Uh, license C is what we're going for. So we got a couple of opportunities. Uh, this one appears to be the closest. So what do they got here? Uh... This one's going to Coldfoot, but we kind of just been there. Where Where is this one going? All right, we can uh, we can take that little job right there. I say little job. We'll see if it's a little job or not. Uh, let's jump into the truck here. Ah, the engine is nice and warm. Are my lights on? Lights are off. Let's turn the lights on. Uh, let's see here. Dashboard lights are on. Heater is on. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the wipers on all right that seems all good uh let's go ahead and throw the handbrake let me start this in fifth gear yeah so the original truck i'm not really sure i know where that went i don't remember selling it but maybe i did So we're at plus 18 degrees, a lot warmer than it was last episode, which we were reaching 10 below, or was it even colder than that? I can't quite remember. Uh, wait, how come my GPS is not showing me where I should be going? Did I not select? All right, I'm just going to go ahead and select it myself. There, now it's showing up on GPS. That's fine. It's all good. On the road we go. Hopefully. Uh, the road is here somewhere. So apparently, uh, like I said, there was a pretty big patch to the game since last episode. Uh, optimization was, of course, always a big thing for me when, they, when I see that in a game. We optimized it. Uh, did you? I hope so. Uh, tire tracks in the snow have been... Uh, well, they approved on it. So... Uh, we'll see how that has improved if we see any vehicles today. Uh, don't see any yet, but we'll wait and see. Um, also, the... Let's see, what else did they improve or worked on? I think they said they worked uh, or changed the way you could start the game. There's different modes you have now. So we'll see. I, I think you got to do that though at the beginning of the save game, so I don't know what we're in. I think there's hardcore where you actually start in winter. Which we currently are, so no sense of doing that because we are in winter, uh, resetting it. So I think we're just gonna leave it in the same mode that it's in. 
I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, I've adjusted some of my graphic settings as well. So we'll see, see what that does. Uh, if the game looks better or worse, let me know if it looks better or worse because then I'll go back to the original settings that I had. But I do need to stop somewhere at a store and because I mean, literally, I think I got some trail mix in the back of the truck and that's about it. I don't have anything to be putting into the, the microwave. I think I got enough fuel for the day. Let's go ahead and park this on up here. Okay, let's get on out and kind of forgot what job I was taking. I think it was to an airport. Uh, packs and gas, coal foot. Uh, yeah, the regional airport for 2000. Uh, like I said, we, we did seem like we've been going up and down Prudhoe Bay Highway for quite a bit recently. So we're just going to take this one right here for today. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that one right there. Uh, whoop, it's blinking over there. So let's go ahead and grab that trailer. get myself lined up as best as I can here now as you guys have told me if I press V it'll bring up the side mirrors so we can see they're kind of there but if I press V again they come up nice crystal clear so I can use those to back up to our trailer which currently I cannot see our trailer where's where's my trailer that I'm taking is it way over here I think I see it now is that the trailer I hope uh, yes, and actually, I'm kind of up on it. So, we're in the green. Handbrake. Out the door. Lock it out there. Cargo durability minus... Wait, what? All I did was hitch it up, and I got damage on the cargo? All I did was lock the kingpin in, and I got damaged cargo. That seems a little harsh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's raise up the legs. We lost. I lost 21% on the cargo by hitching up to the kingpin. I'm being framed. Uh, I can't really see the socket. Oh, I, I switched sides. And right, that'll work. And can I grab that one now? Probably because I hitched it up at an angle. But then again, I didn't hit the truck. The only thing I can figure out is it... it I'm not really sure what it would have hit to damage the cargo, but well, that's not gonna that's not gonna help out my, my reputation at all. All right, let's get rid of the side mirrors on the screen here. Hasn't really been a good start to my recording this episode trying to get things I, I my, my character got locked up at the store uh, the snow disappeared completely but it still said snowy roads but the snow's back <laughs> it's just it's just like oh no it's all going south all right so a 300 mile trip I'm gonna leave the wipers on just because I uh, don't know if it's going to help out with the frosting on up part. So I'm going to keep my eye on the tire tracks for cars. 
I mean, currently I don't see any right in front of us, and they should be there, I would assume. But we'll see if any tire tracks head off on into the mountains or something like that. So our reputation was getting back up to like four and a half, but like I said, I'm not too sure why. We were like four and a third, and now we're down to four. But now after loading up this trailer, losing 20% on it, uh, that's not going to be good for dropping off. So I mean, there's going to be a penalty already. I guess they also adjusted some of the way XP is earned. I don't know if it was on the point of interest taking photos. We're supposed to get XP for that. We were not getting it apparently. So that's been adjusted. I'm just going to get in the truck and drive. That's all I'm going to do. What happens, happens. Like taking that cargo damage there, I'm not too sure what I did to get the cargo damage, but that's fine. Well, it's not fine. <laughs> I can't change it. This game is kind of like SnowRunner in the sense where it automatically saves and you can't... I mean, if you, if you cause an issue, you can't like exit out of the game and reload. The game's going to start off right where you were. And you can't like load up an old save. Which I would like to see save points come to the game just because if you have a problem with your save game, at least you got a backup one to go to. So with the radiator cover on the truck, the engine temperature is not going to get that much warmer today, I don't think. I did top off the radiator with coolant that I bought at the store. And that's where my character kind of got locked up. I had the uh, engine cover open. I, was, I put coolant in and I went to scrape the windshield because the windshield was really frosted over. And uh, next thing you know my character kind of froze. I couldn't get off the truck, couldn't do anything. So just having a few issues today. As far as my reputation dropping right now, it's not going to hurt us that much because most of the loads that were taken, I mean, I think the most important load or reputation load that we've seen is a three star but I mean of course I would like to get up to a five star So far the tire tracks in the snow seem to be uh, better off here. Well, this is a point of interest. I want to pull over to here. And we got to use our camera to take a picture of course. So we can get the postcards up and going. Uh, let's go ahead and put down the, the engine brake here. Because we, we got like a short trip today. I mean for us it's a short trip. Let's see we should be able to, yeah, you can barely see the circle. Now let's go ahead and grab the camera. And there we go. We got to snap a picture of that. And I got 150 XP for taking a picture of 
a point of interest. And if I hit R to go to gallery, um, okay, so this is the Sussitina, Sus Sussitina, <laughs> Sus Sus yeah, the river bridge. Um, and we should actually have, so is it only showing the postcards I currently have taken or did it lose the one that we took from before? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I won't know now until I go back to headquarters to see if the other postcard is still there. Across this bridge. And if I do pass the store along the way, which I forgot to check if we were going to be doing so, I need to stop to get some food. I mean, we're going to a place with an airport, so I would assume there's got to be a store around somewhere. But you know what happens when you assume? Now we're just going to go ahead and go around everyone. Hopefully I don't hit anyone. I'm taking this a little bit slower today because like I said we got like a short journey. And I've already got <laughs> we already got 21% damage on the trailer. plow our way through the snow banks in the road. Well, it's not snow banks in the road. Uh, I do need to get that second skill point going on our personality so we can unlock clearing out snow drifts or avalanches. I don't know what it's actually going to be called. But that's what it looks like. They need to be uh, that needs to be taken care of. So at least the tire tracks in the snow seem to be uh, a lot better. Uh, I don't see any going off into the mountain or anything like that. Was that a store there? I think this might be a store. Let's go ahead and put the handbrake on. I think it's a store. Yes, it is. Convenience store. Let's head on in. How's everyone doing? Uh, we need... All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. What have we got here? Frozen pizza. Oh, I don't have uh, much room in my inventory. Actually, I got two things of engine oil in my inventory. I don't need two things of engine oil in my inventory. So let's go ahead and we'll put one of those away. And we'll have one of the frozen pizzas right now. Inventory management in a trucking simulator game. Who would have thought? Uh, let's go ahead and put that away. Uh, we'll have this. Ok, 
Okay, and then we'll have the hot pizza for 35 nutrients. Is that lower than it used to be? I think that used to be a little bit higher than that for how much we got from frozen pizza. You would think having a, a whole pizza on your own. Would do more than that. Uh, let's get some uh, turkey and gravy. I got to do that because, well, for me, as I'm recording this, yesterday was Thanksgiving here in the States. Uh, we we got to do turkey and gravy. Uh, seven days, and then I'll get uh, fried chicken tenders. Now, we're going to stock up our fridge here. Let's go in the back. Too bad I just can't reach the refrigerator from here. All right, uh, put that in there, that in there, because the spoils last longer, but really not too concerned about that. And yes, we're going to go back into the store one more time, buy a couple more pieces. That way we're good to go for at least a couple days. Uh, instant soup, canned food, beef ravioli. You know what, let me grab one of those now. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and eat that right now. There we go. Food is all the way up. Perfect. And we'll grab another one of these and another one of these. All right. And let's go ahead and put that into the fridge. So we're good for a little while on food. A lot of uh, jumping around inside the truck here. All right, back on the road we go. Camera should center self-center itself here in just a moment. Here we go. Um, looks like we got a traffic accident. Oop, now I just moved the camera. Someone said if I use the horn. It doesn't look like the horn does anything. Well, we'll let them figure it out on their own. We'll get back on the road ourselves. I actually know what I should do because I always forget. I'm going to stop once again, but I'm going to stop to take a picture for the thumbnail, which you probably already saw. Uh, me stopping in the middle of the road, as we know, not a good thing. I hope I don't get hit from behind here soon. Uh, but we got no traffic. Now let's get back in the truck before someone comes along and rear ends us. All right, 150 miles to go to get this there. And we got four and a half hours to do so, which should not be a problem. Well, I just noticed, look at the GPS on the truck. What the heck is going on there? I think this latest uh, patch to Alaskan road truckers yeah, may need a little bit of tweaking. Just a little bit. So I'm about to drive so good for a long time now to get a reputation back up to where it was. I don't know how much we're going to get hurt today because we're already, already lost 20% on the trailer. Just by hitching it up.
still wearing my winter coat. I'm trying to figure out, do I need the wipers on or not? I think since it's 20 degrees out, we do not need them on. So let me go ahead and turn those off there. I think I... And the second I turned my wipers off, the temperature went from 20 degrees down to 5. What the heck, man? I think this game is really trolling me today. I don't see no traffic coming, so we're going to go past all three of these. Yep, we're going to turn the wipers back on. Because it is snowing just enough. To cause a problem on the windshield. I will say, having chains on the tires makes a world of difference in this game with traction. If I were to not have chains on the tires right now, I'd be sliding around everywhere. turn coming up here which scares me because there's a lot of vehicles in front of us so I think I'm going to make sure I turn after them are you all turning left no that's good long do you want to stay in the oncoming traffic lane as long as it takes for me to pass these vehicles that's what we're doing So as for the uh, tracks in the snow for the tires, I really haven't seen any like on the mountain sides or anything like that. But you'd think, and hopefully they'll adjust on this in the future, that I would see the tire tracks from this dump truck in front of us in the road by now. But I think I gotta get to within a certain distance for it to actually show. Yeah, there, yeah I gotta get within a certain distance for them to show, I guess. kind of cool in the future maybe that's what the side quest will be oh hello uh <laughs> in the future for side quests where we can actually plow the roads place I haven't been to before. Donka? I think that's how it was uh, spelled, but I don't know if that's how, how it's pronounced.
I thought we'd pretty much been on most of the towns. But I guess I was wrong. Alright, probably not worth passing this car. They're trying to turn in front of them. There's the free parking area. I assume that one in front is where we would pull in straight. And I'm guessing that one right there is where I back into. Okay, so those cars are there on purpose, I suppose, to give me uh, a headache for backing on in. Well, we already got damage on the trailer, right? So, let me bring up the uh, side mirrors again. I don't see the cars at all. I mean, do I want to try backing this up? These trailers turn a lot faster than I thought they would. I think the way today is going, I'm going to play it safe and learn on the side mirrors later on. Because the last thing I want is for this traffic to start moving. Let me get this squared up a little bit more. No, 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 no. Okay, now the car is going to move? Are you serious? I think I'm... I'm bringing it along with me. So the collision box on that is... Right there. I think I can hit that car and it's fine. Because nothing's happened to me yet, so I'm gonna push it out of my way. As one would. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna push it out of my way. But it might be enough out of my way to back on in now. was there for a second five star five star parking but um, this whole trip has not been good to me actually it was just the beginning of the trip loading up the cargo all right does it show me show yeah so it doesn't show me wearing the winter jacket again that that's okay I guess as long as the game knows I am wearing it I'm not gonna get cold out here Alright, so I am remembering to unhook the trailer. Which I've done once before. And now the kingpin. Alright, so before I go complete this job, I just want to double check on... Our ranking so it looks like we're right at a four star um, let's see if we drop down because uh, yeah we're only at 80% on this delivery true Alaskan right there four degrees out Fahrenheit and doors wide open and a tank top and, and short jorts uh, <laughs> so reputation we got on this job was over four and a half stars 
Cargo penalty almost a thousand. But, I mean that that's fine. But I mean the reputation actually kind of shocks me that it's that good with that much damage on the trailer. Uh, quest complete. Um, by the way, I hope I hope that wasn't your four door out there because I kind of moved that out of my way with the truck to back the trailer in. So uh, I hope you're fine. Is this the uh, the Moose Hockey Team apparently? Can I get into any of these lockers while we're here? No? Probably shouldn't jump over that because I might have gotten stuck or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but anyways, we are... Actually, where are we? Uh, oh, yeah. Ga uh, Gakona. Gakona? Possibly. I mean, we've been to Toke many times and we've been down to uh, Solana. Unless they added names to towns since uh, in the last update. So you can see that one's highlighted, but this one is not. And this one's not highlighted. Toke we've been to. Uh, Dry Creek. I mean, maybe I haven't been actually to that place, but we've been through that road quite a bit. So possibly they're adding names of towns. Uh, did they actually add any roads? I didn't see in the patch notes where they added roads. That's supposed to be in December's update. But overall, yeah, not, okay, we're doing, we're doing okay. So I think hopefully I got all the bugs out of me. Oh, someone is actually is in the car. Um... Yeah, I mean, that was kind of rude. You could have moved your car there, dude. Uh, but we'll see if we can find the load out of here next time. And uh, hopefully when I load into the game, it'll be just a little bit better than the situation I had today. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. I'll catch you again right here in Alaskan Road Truckers. But until then, have a good one.